Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening, a homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See, that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Homicide. You wait here. I won't be wrong. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. <laughs> so, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around 8 from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell! It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Well, I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home, I mean. I'll be outside if you need me.
Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. <sighs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. So, we're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. signs of a struggle the question is what exactly happened here I think the victim attacked the Android with the bat that lines up with the evidence go on the Android stabbed the victim 
So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... the living room. to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Chair. I'm going to check something. Uh, check something. Just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Fuck it. 
I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. What the fuck is it doing now? damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions, so we can understand what happened. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? They were going to find you anyway. I was just faster. If they'd have found you first, you would have been shot on sight. chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him, 
again and again and again. Please. Please. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Oh, please. Please stop. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it. Stop. Please. Please leave me alone. All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. If you don't talk, they're going to tear you apart and analyze you piece by piece. They're going to destroy you. Do you understand? Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? Confess and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. Who is RA9? Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. start feeling emotion before he used to beat me and I never said anything but one day I realized it wasn't fair I felt anger hatred and then I knew what I had to do Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. 
touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Holy shit! <laughs>